Hi everyone, I'm Eleanor Shano, and during the next half hour, we are going to focus on technology of all kinds. First, did you know that a doctor right here in Pittsburgh was the pioneer in the most innovative hip and knee replacement surgery using titanium? And we're going to demonstrate how some simple stretching exercises can help ease a lot of those aches and pains. Plus, he's back. Dr. Frank with the latest in electronics and technology for the home. We're going to get you connected to those topics and more next on LifeQuest. that Pittsburgh is at the forefront of medical technology. Well, now the world is starting to realize it too. And one of the reasons the city stands out is because of Dr. Anthony DeJoya, the pioneer in the development of computer-assisted surgical technology, for instance, hip replacement. Dr. DeJoya, I don't know if it's my age, but it seems to me that more and more people are having hips and knees replaced these days. Oh, absolutely. It's becoming a national trend and national epidemic in many ways. A lot of it, I think, uh, comes from the baby boomers. Uh, they're now moving into retirement age. They mm. have been probably the first generation of people that became very physically active. Runners, a lot of them do marathons, and a lot of them very active. and those joints wear out, right? Absolutely, plus on the good side, our pop population is living longer as well, and they expect to live a very active lifestyle. So but you revolutionized the procedure. Um, you say that part of it you attribute to your engineering background. Explain what you mean by that. Well, I'm a civil engineer by training from Carnegie Mellon, and was always interested in the mechanics of the body, and actually had no intention of going into medical school initially, but was fortunate to connect with Dr. Albert Ferguson, who is the, really the founder of orthopedics in Pittsburgh, and was a very strong believer in engineers working hand in hand with orthopedic surgeons. And one thing led to another, and I decided that uh, the career in medicine was for me. All right, you have some, some parts here on the table. Let's see what they are. You have, show me the, you use titanium? Why titanium? Yeah. Well, there's actually a mixture of materials that have been Found to be okay, compatible. we have a close-up. Here, if you hold it right there, see, there's the close-up. Now, can you explain what, you, what we're seeing on the screen? This are the components to a total hip replacement, with this being the new cup or socket that goes uh -huh. into the pelvis, okay. and this is the new ball and the femoral stem which goes inside the thigh bone. Okay. So, in essence, we recreate the ball and socket joint of a hip joint by artificial pieces. Okay, now I picked that up earlier, and that is, I said to to you, Dr. DeJoria, gosh, I'll gain five pounds. And you said, no, it's only? One pound. One pound. It, it feels a lot heavier. It is. It, it does feel a lot heavier. And that is one of the most common questions All people right. ask. Uh, how about a knee? A knee is a little different because it's actually a hinge joint, whereas the hip is a ball and socket joint. Mm -hmm. So in the hinge, and this is the lower leg bone that goes into the tibia. This is the femoral cap. Mm -hmm. and it fits together and it recreates the motion by going up and down. And then in addition, a common question is people say, do they have their own kneecap? Well, they have part of their own kneecap, but we replace the, Oops. the inner part okay. with a small plastic button that okay. also becomes that's, that. That's the, that's the person's kneecap, the patient's kneecap? This is that? the patient's kneecap okay. here. And, and the, then the undersurface is the part that gets worn. Okay. and that we replace it with a little plastic button and that right. recreates the joint. Right. Now what is this over here? That's this is actually a, a model of an, a normal joint, normal knee joint, all so right. to show you all the pieces that go into it. And it is a very complex joint and it's probably much more complex than a hip replacement. Is it more difficult to do a knee replacement than a hip replacement? Yeah, I, I would say yes. And there are more factors because it's more dependent on the ligaments and the muscles. And it also carries over to the patients. Our patients commonly tell us that knee replacement recovery is a bit more challenging than hip replacement recovery. Recovery time is longer, you say? For it's the more work. It's more work. not necessarily longer. Uh, what is, uh, what, 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 I know what I want to ask you, and I think I know the answer. When is it time to have a knee or a hip replaced? 
it's when, it's when you have pain that pain that doesn't respond to conservative treatment. Uh, it's patient driven then. Absolutely. All right, because I, I I I will share with my viewers. I have gone to see Dr. DeJoria. He has told me that I'm ready. I you could do a hip replacement on me because you're a candidate. For I am a return. candidate, right. and I have told him that when I am writhing on the floor in pain. I will call you and then we'll talk about it. In the meantime, I think there are some things that you can do. I know that you gave me a list of, of stretching exercises. Absolutely. And that will help keep the, the, the joint fluid. Well, any, any joint that's inflamed uh, has a lot of inflammation or irritation, mm -hmm. and stretching by nature will uh, reduce the inflammation in those joints, plus it maintains the the uh, mobility of the joint, so whenever it becomes time for surgery, it's really uh, properly primed. What advice do you have for people out there right now who are watching and say, I know I'm a candidate, um, I, I am going to wait a little bit, what can I do in the meantime to ease the pain and discomfort? We have all, we're barraged with, you know, the, mm. the, the pain medications on the market, uh, things that you can apply externally, what works, right. what doesn't? Uh, since we're treating pain, many things do work for certain patients and not others. The general things to start with, no doubt, is be active, lose weight if necessary, avoid high impact activities, but maintain your activity as well. On the medical side, there are in-between steps. There's anti-inflammatory medicines, there are injections that we now use for different joints to reduce the pain, and there are other in-between steps. I think one of the fallacies uh, is that many people don't seek help because they're afraid that surgery is the only option, which is not true. In fact, even as busy as we are, we, we will treat patients non-operatively before it's time for surgery. All right, Dr. DeJoria, uh, my, my final question to you is, uh, you are it when it comes to a leader in this field. As a result, a lot of people say, well, Dr. Anthony DeJoria, I know, but I mean, you could never get to see him. Now, you are at McGee Hospital, and you do see new patients. Oh, absolutely. All right, I think that's absolutely. important, because I don't, want, I don't want people to think I bring you on the show, and then they call, and they go, oh, I'm sorry, he's not taking any new patients in 2000, no, we 2010. No, see new patients. Um, that, that this is just, I, I know we've just skimmed the surface. Uh, one last thing, you talk about um, keeping your weight down. You told me that one pound of One pound of weight is really about six pounds to your hips and knees. So if you lost 10 pounds of weight, you're protecting your hips by 60 pounds. So okay. it's a big effect. So what you are saying is keep moving, even if it hurts, try to move through it, mm -hmm. and keep your weight in some kind of control. And uh, when the pain gets so bad, then you call the doctor. In the meantime, I want to thank you so much. and uh, I. Uh, Hope to see you soon back here and not for a while in your office, okay? Thank you very now, much. For those people who do have hip problems, there is something you can do to help. And we're going to show you exactly what it is, specific exercises you can do to help alleviate the pain. That's next on LifeQuest.
Welcome back. I'm here now with my personal trainer, Frank Sedlak. Now, Frank has helped me with my own hip problems by showing me the, the right exercises. And actually, Frank, everybody knows the importance of stretching for to maintain good balance and flexibility. But when I came to you, I came with doctor's orders. I came at, right. with a sheet of exercises, stretching exercises, that Dr. DeJoya gave me. And we've been trying to go through them, and so let's demonstrate them because these have really helped my hip. Okay. You want me to get started down here? You bet. Let's lay flat on the mat here. You can put your head right up on that end, lie well, on your back. Okay. How yeah. about if I put my head on oh, this end? That's fine. Only too. because I've got, I'm wired on oh, this side, okay. okay? All right. Okay. Now. So we remember that the, the hip moves pretty much in four ways. It goes front, it goes back, it goes out to the side and comes back in towards the middle. So we want to try to stretch all those directions to keep that blood flowing through the hip, keep it healthy, and you know, hopefully prolong that hip surgery that way down the road. All right, but Frank, as everyone knows who has a hip problem, when you have a hip problem, you lose your range of motion. So this is my bad hip out here. Okay. And um, this is the one that we really need to work on, right? right? Okay, so let's start with the first stretch. It's gonna work your hip extensors, which is the, the, the buttocks area. I'm gonna have you grab, bend the knee, grab with okay. both hands behind okay, your no, thigh. This is the one that doesn't go very far. Right, and, but you take it as far as you can. Once you get to that point, you wanna to try to hold for 10 seconds. You wanna to try to keep it pain free you know, you feel the stretch, but you don't want it to be discomfort. You don't want any discomfort there. All right, but there's a little bit of discomfort, and we're not going to hold for 10 seconds because of TV time. Right. right? Okay. So that's the first one. Just right. and and you could re even do this lying in bed. You can lift your leg. And that's right. You okay. could. And from that same position, we can go right into the next stretch, okay. holding, keeping your hands behind your thigh. Okay. And all you pulling that in as far as you can to okay. a comfortable spot, and then just extend your knee. Just straighten it. Oh. Straighten it up like so. Okay. Keeping your hands back here. Okay. This is stretching your hamstring, okay. which is a very important muscle to keep flexible. Okay. Because we use it in everything we do, walking, sitting, running, whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, and it ties into the the hip extensor. So we want to keep it flexible. So as you can well. do these by yourself. When you work with me, you give me that little extra. That's right. That, that little extra, extra push. push. Right, just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now let's bring this leg down. All right. And what we're going to do is go into another stretch from this lying position. Just cross the leg this way. Now this is actually going to stretch the other hip. Okay. This is my good hip. <clears throat> this will stretch nicely. That's right. But when we're stretching, we want to try to do both sides anyway to right. keep, okay. keep everything in balance. So by you, if you're doing this yourself, you want to stabilize with your left hand right up here. Right. And then you're going to push this way. Oh, you can feel that. You can right. feel that and all up through your torso. <clears throat> okay, and the prim primarily it's stretching the inner portion, that part of the hip that brings the leg back in. Mm. At, and you want to just, and if you've got somebody to assist you, they can just put a little pressure right here just to give you a little extra okay. stretch. Now let's do that with this leg and we'll sure. show how there's no range of how motion. How the range of motion see. is limited, right. Okay, now let's okay, see. Again, with a little help, here. let's see how far we can go. Okay, let me just kind of pull All right, this now leg. this is important. Dr. DeJoy explained that this is important because you have to keep as much flexibility. Right, or and get that blood flow flow flowing through the joint helps to keep it a little bit looser okay. as well. All right, okay, now. now there's a little exercise to do also that Dr. DeJoy recommends from this position with your hands down by your side mm -hmm. you're just going to lift keeping your feet down you're just going to lift your hips and you're going to hold and normally we'd hold for 10 seconds and then we'd let it back down all right now how is that helping my hip <clears throat> well it's helping to strengthen some of the air it's, el it's helping to strengthen the torso the lower back it's kind of like a abdominals. pilates a little bit yeah it, it, it helps strengthen the core area and right. it also gets that hip moving a little bit in okay. some of the directions that it works. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. It's now, not so bad. Okay. Now we're going to, from a lying face down position, watch your equipment mm -hmm. here on your okay. right side. All right. We want to lie face down. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. And just, you're, you're right in the position right here. We want to try to keep your hips down, mm -hmm. propping yourself up on your elbows. This mm -hmm. helps to stretch out. The muscles in the abdominal area that also right. tie into the hip. Okay. And then uh, this is also a great uh, stretch for your lower wow. back that helps alleviate some of the tensions that can develop back here in the lower oh. back as well. 
Okay, and then you can take this stretch right up into the next one, which we'd come up on on one knee. And since it's your left hip that's your problem okay. area, All let's right. keep your left knee down. All right, you're going to put that right How foot out. How far out? Way put out? A, a good bit, like, that's fine, just All like right. that. And you want to keep your back nice and straight, okay? And looking straight ahead, shoulders back. You just want to push forward. This is stretching the hip flexion, hip flexors, okay. the flexion part of the hip. So that now we've pretty much hit every All right. area. Well, Dr. DeJoya told me that we should go through this whole series two times a day, in the morning and at night, and... Each, each exercise should be held for 10 minutes. Now, we have to do the ten same seconds. thing. 10 seconds. Right. Same thing on the other side. All right. All right. Okay, again, just <sighs> leaning forward, keep your shoulders back. That way you'll get oh, the okay. stretch okay. right here. Yeah, we the, all have a tendency to go like this. <laughs> right. We want to relax, keep good posture. Okay. All right, all right. we are just about out of time. Okay. Uh, I feel a little stretched. This is really, really important, and I can speak from personal experience. It is keeping me moving, and I want to thank you so much because you have shown me the right, the right way to do it. Not everybody, and I don't have Frank all the time either, so I have to do them myself. So try some of these exercises, and Frank Select, thank you, as always. Thanks. Now, for those of you who want to make life a little easier on the home front, you want to get up off the floor, you're going to, oh, when you see what's coming up next. Stay tuned. Some new technology that's just going to blow you away. We'll be right back. I think you all know we search far and wide to bring you the very best guests on this television show. And some of our guests are the best of the best. So we keep inviting them back over and over. And Dr. Frank Vigiano. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Indiana University professor and bringer of all good things. <laughs> bringer? Right, yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, what do we have here? Well, we're going to start with electronics, and I want to start in the kitchen. This is brand new. This is from Allclad. Of course, you know, they're a local company. They're from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. But this is great. This is a seven-quart slow cooker. Okay? Oh. But what's really neat about it, now you're looking at, look at, look at the finish. Of course, you can... Beautiful. You know, it's gorgeous. It absolutely is. But here's the real secret, owner. What they've done is they've taken and put inside the cooker. Look at this. This comes out. It's oh. cast aluminum. And it has a non-stick finish on it. So the beauty of this is you can go from the cooktop Right you, to the table. Right to the table, or go back into the slow cooker. See, and, Look. and this is so handsome. You could put this. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It is it's absolutely really, beautiful. The neat thing about it, just so you know quickly, is that it's the first time ever that they've got it, that a unit's come out where you can literally remove, re re remove the interior and take it from cooktop directly to table. And, they, and also dishwasher. You can wash it in the dishwasher. Which is great. These really work too. I mean, it saves with the way people live today and so yes. many women working. You put your stuff in there in the morning, you come home, and dinner is served. And also, too, let's say you run over at work, 
it automatically will turn on for six hours in the warm cycle to keep it at that temperature so you don't come home to you know something that's basically now cold. when we can get it to set the table right. and do the dishes we'll by the way it's only it. available at williams sonoma this okay. is exclusive just so because our viewers are going to want to know so this is really neat this is by dish network it's called pocket dish it is a digital video recorder okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically just press the button here and let it go so our audience can see what's happened. This is a previous show of ours. This is one of the shows that you and I had done oh, last year. Oh, at least last year. Right, so what it is, so you understand, it's, a, it's basically a seven inch mm -hmm. diagonal screen. It's LCD, look how thin it is. I'm gonna turn it sideways so our viewers can see it. It's very light, pick it up, Eleanor, so you can explain to them how light it is. It's amazing, Isn't that amazing? look at this. It's got a 40 gig hard drive inside. Now what does it mean? It means you can put in about 15 to 16 movies and up to 40, 50,000 photographs will store inside the hard drive. You can and hold you, it with Yeah, and, you can, and basically you can put headsets in it so you can take it with you on the plane, you can take it with you traveling in the back of the car for the kids, whatever. $399 from Dish Network and it's called Pocket. 399 Now last year they were 599 So they've come down $200 within 12 months. Amazing, isn't it? But it's made by a company called Pocket, made by Dish Network and it's called Pocket Dish. You could sit in the back seat of the oh, car. Oh, it's wonderful. Watch, watch a movie. It's great. Isn't that fun? You what do we have here? All right, it's fabulous. Now, we're going to go to the office. So we went from the kitchen. And we're going to kind of. Want me to turn this off? Yeah, we, I'll, I'll turn it off for you. Okay. But uh, basically, what happens with the, uh, the office? People are looking for something that's like an all-in-one. Mm -hmm. That's the big word today, all-in-one. So we're talking fax, copier, right. scanner, and printer. Okay. This is by Konica Minolta. What makes it different than some of the other printers on the market? The cost. You're looking at a unit that's $599, network capable, which means you can plug in your network into it. You can print from anywhere in the home if you have a wireless network directly. Fax, copier, copier scanner, scanner, printer, scanner, and printer, and you can hook the camera directly up to it and print directly from the camera without a computer. No wonder, okay. no wonder. Now look at this. This the, is what the this home is what office we have to, is so easy yeah. to establish. This is what we days. have to show our audience real quick. You hold that one up. Okay. That's the original. Okay. And this is the copy. I just want them to see. Look how close. Oh. Isn't that incredible? That and is here's another one. Now this is this. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. This amazing. copy and original. Original basically would be on their left. Copy on the right. Isn't that something? Absolutely. I mean, look at the quality. The quality is amazing. It's amazing. And then look at the colors. This is really good. This this little print that I just want to show this real quick. Good example. You know, this is basically for like a small office, mm -hmm. home office, somebody that might be a realtor, people like that. But it gives you an idea. Look at the quality of the color. Isn't that great? It's by Konica Minolta. It's called the 2490, and it's an all-in-one unit. Well, and and the neat I thing about it is that, you know, these guys, um, all these products that I bring on, they normally win awards at the trade shows and so right. forth. Well, they're different. This they're is unique. brand new also. Yes, brand and, new. And it's the price point that just makes it so affordable for a home oh, office. Oh, absolutely. Five ninety nine. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Now, this is for the kid who has everything. This is for, yeah, these, this is, these are fun. Now, basically what we have here, I've got three basic TV sets, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Okay, this is a basketball. Isn't this great? Look, look, it's like a hoop. I want our audience to see this if I hold it up. Hold it up like, the back. You have to like, hold up the back. Yeah, it looks like a basketball hoop, though, just so they can see right. it. All right? And you can see the back. It's all mm -hmm. finished in that mm -hmm. nice NBA endorsed. But what this is, this is, these are all by hand spray. And this is just a wonderful way to basically put a television set into an object that is desired by anybody that's a sports fan. So they, they can, you, you know, they do it in baseball. They also do it in the uh, basketball with NBA. Isn't that great though? I know a but couple of young men that would just kill for kill this. Kill for this, okay. oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, now and another one of their sets, and this is really neat, this is great, because what it, what it gives you, and you can see this, these are closed up. We have a clock, okay, which is here, and we mm -hmm. also have a thermostat. All right, now watch what happens. When I open them up, they become the speakers to the TV set. Isn't that great? They become the speakers. So therefore, it's a flat screen LCD TV, I'll turn it this way so our audience can see it while our camera's there. Look how, look how thin. And each you can year, each year, oh, yeah. things, the technology is moving forward Faster and faster and faster. It now is. How much is this? The, these run, this, this runs uh, $299. Isn't that great though? And so the same thing with the basketball. Basketball's mm -hmm. $299, mm -hmm. okay? Now this is really fun too, because I, when I saw this at the show, in September, I just loved it. I thought, what a neat idea. And I said, what is it? It's an apple. Of course it's an apple. But what happens is when we open the apple up, look we, at look, that. we have speakers, that. okay, that basically are part of the apple itself. So part of the apple core, as you can see. Let me move that out of the way so our audience can see it. Speaker here, speaker here, and we've got a full LCD TV. I, I'm sure a lot of people say this would be great for a kid's room, but wouldn't it be great in the kitchen? This be would great be anywhere. just a really, you know what's really cool thing about to have it? in the kitchen. When I, when I close it, now, 
whereas it just snaps here at the bottom. What I want you to do, pick that up. Feel a light. Isn't that great? Is that, is that amazing? <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Look at that. And if we show the back of the look unit to our audience, they can the see here's kitchen. all the inputs, the cable yeah, TV jack, look, video jack. Look, so basically in my can... kitchen, I need one of those. <laughs> Isn't that great? I need one of those. Now, continue with LCD. I want to talk a little bit about TVs in general because this is a big, you know, people are buying these. Flat screens are becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. This is a 37 inch. This is LCD. It's high definition. Okay. It also has something called an HDMI input. HDMI means high definition multimedia interface. I want our audience to know when they go to buy flat screen and high definition, they want to ask for an HDMI connection. Very important. We, we need to tell our, our audience to, to <laughs> bring a notebook and a pencil before they watch your segments because you have instructions. Well, I'm an educator. I mean, I want them to understand that. The reason being mm -hmm. is that it delivers audio and video with one cable directly to the TV. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to basically turn this on, Alan. We're going to take a look and we're going to watch. We are going to watch a, uh, a video here real quick. This is also made by Handspree, mm -hmm. and we're loading up a DVD that we've got in the back that we're running, and we're just going to basically show our audience one of the clips from last year when I was on your program. And this is the beginning of, uh, this is QED, of course. But what's really neat about the set, a couple of things about it. Number one, it's flat screen, 37-inch LCD. Number two, look at the design. Look at the legs. Chrome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah, it's a, so what they're doing I mean, is they're taking, a and you know, it's really hard, it's hard for our audience to see this because the back is all wood. It, look at this. I want you to, I know you can tell them, but Just isn't that great? So you have a wood grain back to it. Handsome. Isn't that neat? A lovely home accessory. And this is really cool. It did nothing. This is your film card from your camera. All right. Okay, your digital camera, right? I have a Kingston digital film card. Watch, mm -hmm. Eleanor. I take the film card and put it directly into the front of the TV. And now, by turning the connection on, I can see all of my pictures on the screen without the camera. And what a beautiful picture. No, it's a gorgeous picture. It's beautiful. And remember, it's, you know, high definition. And by the way, $1,899, that's all. So mm -hmm. they've come down. Last year at this time, these sets, same size, 37 inches were yeah. about three to four thousand. And stay tuned, see what they oh, are next year. Oh, absolutely, But as you, you made a good point uh, a, a couple of times, that you were here before, don't wait. I mean, if you wait until the price comes down, and especially with absolutely. photography, well, the years are gone. Well, you, lo you lose the opportunity. I mean, you know, to me, where we go around yes, once, one right. time, you know. That's that's right. Right. But okay, anyway. we're running out of time. What right. else do you have? Well, this is just, this is by Seagate. It's really neat. People are looking for hard drive, so I want to talk a little bit about a computer real quick. People need to back up all the data on their computer. They lose it. It crashes. They get very upset. Mm -hmm. And the same very, thing with... Very upset. Right. And they get... Same thing with photographs. This is by Seagate. Look at the size of this. 160 gigs. Look Amazing. at that. Isn't it incredible? Amazing. So when you look at the size, how things are coming down in price, and this is only $199. This and, was and probably two up. years ago, $500. And the size was three times the size. So he shows what's happening out in the, out in the market world. But that gives everybody an idea what's kind of new ah. out there. Well... I'm always breathless when you come. I, I, I always say all I need are three words, amazing, astonishing, and wow. <laughs> well, it's great it's to, just it's great to wonderful. invite us. We and appreciate it. Talk to Frank. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome back here Thanks anytime. for having me. Appreciate it. Now, if you'd like more information about anything you've seen here on LiveQuest, just give us a call. Check out our website. You can always reach us at 412-622-1575. Make sure to leave your name and phone number so we have a way to get back in touch with you. Or, of course, you can log on to our website, wqed.org. I do want to thank all my guests for joining me today. We hope you stay connected with us each and every week week. I'm Eleanor Shano. Remember, good years start right here. Be well, everyone, and I'll see you soon.